Hi, this is Coach David Halal. You cannot and should not do for others what they can do for themselves. Um, you will have many people in your life. You will have many, many people in your life throughout the years that you are on this earth that are very, very hardworking people. But you will also have some leeches. You will also have um, some uh, uh, parasites. That does not mean we don't help people. We should lift up people when they are down. We should help people when they need our help and when we can help them. We should feed those who cannot eat at least temporarily and help them so they can be able to get up and start working or producing because we are uh, you know we ourselves sometimes will need help so it's very important for us to understand that but these people or those that refuse to work those who refuse to produce those who always say, I don't have enough money, or I don't have enough food, and years and years and years and years, there is a reason why they don't have enough. There is a reason why they don't, they can't eat. I understand, I mean, I'm coming from a poor country, um, Haiti, I understand that it's, you know, um, a lot of people don't have the opportunity that we have here in America, that I've had for 23 years, you know, to live in such a country where there are all kind of work. You know, if you don't have a job and you couldn't find a job and you went to jail and you uh, uh, came from, you know, you have a record, you know, you were imprisoned, so you have a record and, you know, some places won't give you jobs, but you'll find a place or two that wants to help you, that wants to give you a chance whether to, to upload, unload uh, uh, trucks or, or cleaning or whatever. You'll have places that will give you a chance, you know, to, to work. You can even get you a lawnmower or get some money and, you know, ask for somebody for some money and or borrow some money and buy you a lawnmower and start cutting some grass, wherever you live. As long as, I, you know, here in the States, of course, I cannot say that for everywhere, you know, but I know people in Haiti that will give them a couple of, couple of dollars and they will buy mango and will sell it. Later on, they will buy, you know, peanuts or any other thing that is cheap. They will buy it and sell it, you know. I know people that did not know how to read, that never learned how to read because they didn't get a chance to go to school and they will, you know, use uh, their, uh, 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 you know, uh, intelligence, that God-given intelligence. They would get, you know, start a business in the street and clean shoes or sell ice cream there's there's always something that you can do but when you are when you have people in your life trying to rub you dry trying to steal your peace trying to uh you know a uh, 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 feed off you you know uh, like i was saying you know parasites and leeches do not allow them to do that to you so um you know, uh, I've heard people say, well, you know, they should increase the minimum wage. Well, let me, let, 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 let me put that thought out there. The more they increase minimum wage, the more things get more expensive, right? Yes. Well, so that means there's a reason why they call it minimum. Minimum. That means the least, the least you can have to survive. <laughs> so if you want to make more money, you got to acquire a skill. I remember in 94 when I first came here and, you know, I was going to two schools and had two jobs. And at certain times I was, uh, I had three jobs while I was still going to, to two school, different schools, you know, taking two different classes. I remember taking ESOL class, English as a second language, um, or ESL classes, you know. Um, I was doing that in the, you know, after my first job, I would get up at four in the morning. I didn't even have a car. I would ride my bicycle to my first job from five to 10 in the morning. At 10, I had another class. I had a class at 
uh, 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 by ESO class, I would go there at 10.30. From 10.30 to about 12.30, I would study English and learn and stuff like that. Of course, by yourself, because they give you the book. If you have a question, you can come and ask the teacher. But really, you're doing you're, you're self-educating. You, you're using a book to, 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 to read and to learn English. And then after that, at 12.30, I had to be at checkers at 1.30. I would go to Checkers at 1.30, my first job, making $4.25, which was about the minimum wage back then in Florida in 94. And then from there, I would go, uh, I would work until about 6.30, 7 o'clock, then I would go to ESO, uh, to GED class, take my GED class at the mall, Lauder Hill Mall in Fort Lauderdale, all the way to about 9 o'clock. And then at 9 o'clock, I would go home, read a little bit, study a little bit, and go to sleep by midnight, wake up again at 4.30. I did that for many months, you know, uh, 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 for, for um, the ESOL class and the GED until I passed my GED. And then once I had my, what some people would call a good enough diploma, good enough diploma was good enough for me to uh, start going to school, go to Kaiser College and learn and, and become a radiology technologist. While I was doing that, I still had two jobs. <laughs> I remember I worked at Checkers, I worked at uh, 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 Burdines, which is now Macy's. I also worked at uh, Dillard's, and then from Dillard's, um, while I was working there, they were like, well, if you go to this, if you're taking the, if you're in the radiology program, you cannot work. I was like, right, bullshit. I'm gonna continue working because I will not allow myself to depend on my parents or to depend on the government or to depend you know like uh, david toro says you know it is my right you know to 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 to, to become an uh, 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 a free man a man that provides for himself a man that you know going confidently toward his dream my dream you know uh, and everybody's dream should not be to depend on on the government but is to uh, uh, get uh, you know, uh, to become independent, you know, to become free from other people, you know. So I went to school and by the time I finished radiology school, two weeks before I finished, I, I still had, uh, you know, my bird, uh, my uh, Dillard's job while I was uh, working there and my Birdine's job in the weekend. And then when I left, when I graduated in, uh, 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 you know, in radiology, what I did was you know, got me an, a job, right? Two weeks before I graduated, I had my portable, a portable x-ray job working for QPX, quality portable x-ray. And um, as I was doing that, you know, I, I was in school and I was doing x-rays on the weekend. And two weeks later, after I graduated, then before graduation, I was working, making $16 an hour and, and hustling. Not only I was working 50, 60 hours a week, but I was getting ready. I applied at Nova Sophie University to go to college for my you know, uh, degree in biology. I never stop because, you know, you ca I cannot allow and we cannot allow ourselves to depend on people. And we should not allow and we should not do for other people what they should do for themselves. Don't allow people to leech, leech off, um, off, off of you. You know, um, that does not mean you don't help them again. You do help them. You do feed the, home, uh, the, 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 the hungry and and, and, and give the homeless a place to stay. But the minute they can, you know, they, uh, once you start doing that, you gotta start finding a way to tell them or to teach them to get out, you know, to get out on themselves, to get a job, to, you know, clean them, wash them. You know, there, there's places like Job Corps in almost, um, in many states, I don't wanna say in almost every state, but I know there's in Florida, there's, there's, there's in Georgia, there's two in Florida, one in Miami and one in Gainesville. There's in Georgia, in Brunswick, Georgia, there's a job call. If you're young enough at a certain age, you can go there. There are other pro government programs that you can, you know, <laughs> there's all kinds of things here in America. The greatest country, uh, you know, uh, on earth for a long time. You know, some people would argue otherwise, you know, right now because, you know, of everything that's going on. But we still have a chance and opportunities that other people don't have, you know. So don't, don't, don't allow people to, to bring you down because there are energy vampires there are money vampires and there are time vampires the energy vampires are the worst the time and the energy vampires are the worst because they will kill you and kill your dreams do not allow them to do so this is coach david halal fearlessly and passionately pursuing his call and his destiny don't forget to subscribe like my videos share with people 
See you later. Bye-bye. Have a good day.